Jakarta mengalami perubahan Musimnya kemeja yang kurang bahan Di depan dan belakang berlainan Banyak yang jadi propagan di sekorang Hampir kita tak dapat membedakan Yang mana Si institucioni vetëm i artit bashkohon në Frizren, autostrada pianuale funksionon me dy shpeci. Njera është ekspozita fizike që organizohet qdo dy vite, dhe tjetra është hapsi rajon e reedukimit dhe prodhimit në ish bazën u sharake të këforit, tani ITP. Për mes edukimit, trajnimit dhe prodhimit të hapur drejt ekspozimit, qëlimi jën është që të zhvilloj modelet e reja të kryimit kulturor, që do të inkurajojnë brezin e ri të mendojnë në mënyrë kritike për artin dhe të bëhet pjesë e Programet publiket autostrada bienale përpichen të ndimojnë hapsirat e të mësuarit për brezat e rinjë, duke ndjekur parimin e gjithë përshirjes, pra duke bërë programin të hapur për komunitetet të ndryshme. Autostrada bienale startet in prison in Kosovo, in 2014, with its first edition opening in 2017. It was built on the need for more cultural exchange in the region and with the world. We always imagined it as a connecting point, a route on the map of the Western Balkans. The pandemic demanded that we rethink of the Biennale model, and as a result, we are very happy to extend our third edition into two other cities. In this way, we continue the work of our funding ideas, local, but yet very connected. Our main goal is to bring art into the lives of people, into habits, living and working patterns, to create environments of imagination and evocation. This is why we engage in the public space. Kuratörlerimiz Övül Durmuşoğlu ve Johanna Varsha ile birlikte bu yolculukta olmaktan çok mutluyuz. Birlikte çıktığımız yolculukta yerli ve yabancı sanatçılarla uzun söyleşiler gerçekleştirdik. Malumunuz pandemi sürecinde çalışmak kolay değildi. Ancak sanat, direnç ve iyileştirme biçimi olarak bizlere yol gösterdi. Bu çok katmanlı edisyonu sunmaktan gurur duyuyoruz. Sergimizi 3 şehre genişletmemize yardımcı olan tüm çalışma arkadaşlarımıza, destekçilerimize ve dostlarımıza teşekkürlerimizi sunarız. Tamamlanmamışlık ve yolculuk teması ile Autostrada Biennale'nin 3. edisyonuna hoş geldiniz. <gülüyor> What if a journey is an exhibition about the unfinished? It can be a road, an electrification map, a house, a flower field, a story, a relationship or a country. It is an exhibition that takes incompleteness as an invitation to respond, to relate and to grow. It's an exhibition about two ends of the road that meet in between a host and a guest, in between the diasporic and the local in between infrastructure and intimacy. It takes you on a road trip starting in the center of Pristina, continuing along the beautiful Lombardi River in Prizren, and ending in an art bar with a lot of history in Peja. <laughs> Our conversations with Petrit and Alvaro we have been quite sentimental, emotional from the very beginning because Petrit this time not only you know wanted to show work but wanted to create a space of queer agency with this installation. These flowers are becoming part of the public knowledge as under, let's say, this dome of uh, wisdom and introducing another form of loving, another form of being and another form of knowing. 
Deber o completo um Júlio a estar nesse piso em este porto. Mas todo o universo se faz um dia de cheque de ordem. The flowers come originally from a small gestures in our relation, gestures of caring, flowers that we give to each other and our families. flower fields that we have planted in uh, the front of youth and sports palace in Pristina and on an island of Lombardy River in Prizren are an artwork by iconic feminist artist Agnes Dennis, now 90 years old. The sunflower field of Agnes Dennis, it's an environmental art, it's a proposal, an artwork that is part of a cycle of earth that leaves no trace behind and yet changes spirits. So she was very early on somebody who saw art as a part of larger picture, the communicating incommunicable and recontextualizing things. I'm in prison on Autostrada Binale care of the portrait of Romniengre. Shof Romnia, I have a peek care, sar kamava stesikavo in kaihine pedawamende igien vajna, i kai Romnia dawe Kosovo. When we first came to prison, we were struck by this empty void of the Lacking Monument. We wondered what was here. We found out it was a place where anti-fascist monument once stood. So we asked ourselves, what is the fate of those Yugoslav monuments today here in Kosovo? And then Alban Muya showed us his research about another Yugoslav monument, uh, a tribute to progress and work that disappeared in Mitrovica already many years ago. We overlaid those two contexts. So here, monument from Mitrovica is migrating and for the moment staying in the empty void of a former Yugoslav monument in prison. Through this work, I started to understand the, uh, the role of water as a kind of medium that draws the city, helps you to retrace history and social structure also. And the absence of it kind of enables you to uh, retrace it through certain clues that are left within the city. And in the case of uh, Prizren, we just started to follow these absent water uh, springs, fulfill the city's life and also uh, its, uh, its fluidity of its social life as well. I have started with the robots in 2017, where first time I was encountering like a local market where was randomly selling different objects, but I was told that most of the objects like leftovers from military camp of NATO. The most exciting part of, of me uh, making this final fourth uh, robot on the series for Autostrada Binal is going to be the last one produced, but basically this is the first one in a narration. This robot, the, what is displayed here, goes back home because we are exhibiting that in a former military camp of German soldiers in Kosovo. And making this happening here and finalizing the four series, it's quite kind of mission completed on this storytelling. From the very first moment we saw this location, we wanted to install democracy, democracy, and the, this is such a powerful and a direct work, talking about how uh, the systems don't function and what we can do to make them uh, function. It has a really beautiful humor. It is very dark, but it's very open at the same time. Of course, chairs are closed. That means also the decision mechanisms are not really maybe very much functioning but it is in our very much hands to really pick up the chairs, turn them around and make them function again and be part of the decision-making process.
So this is a large project that I initiated actually in 2006 by collecting the history textbooks uh, from the former Yugoslavia school. At that time, just a recent uh, history textbooks because I realized there is, like nowadays uh, kids back then in 2006 are uh, uh, learning in the school uh, something completely different from what I learned uh, in uh, 80s when I was in uh, primary school. So you are from Baden-Baden. <laughs> Edhe një emër në shtiridhur për livizin punëtore, emri i njeriut me qanë të madhe, Haji Ymer Lutfi Pacharizi, aktivistit të organizatës e partijës komunistët të Gustavis. We are doing a research about, uh, it's called a nation formation. The starting point of this project actually is to consider in which way nationalism is related to socialism. This was a big question in Balkans, but especially in Yugoslavia. Our research initially started by focusing the national question and formation of Turkish nationalism in socialist Yugoslavia. We wanted to find out and explore these contradictions between socialism and nationalism. inspiring in a way, Ibn Filigrani is very delicate, takes so much time, it's uh, so much labor, so much detailed observation, and actually the botanical watercolors that uh, most of the time also require that patience and that very strong observation uh, of the flowers in order to deliver them uh, in the best way possible. We've created this kind of conceptual flia, the recipe for the flia, meaning a recipe for the land. I would say our main target are people in Kosovo and in the region. We're taking this traditional dish, we're bringing this new approach to it, and it should get people thinking and talking about what is the soil that we eat from. <laughs> We have first encountered the work of Valbona Jerka in a female feminist exhibition in Tirana. Looking at her tapestry, we found out that she is also the only female artist in the collection of Prison League. This led us to see her tapestry at the Prison League, which has been not renovated since 40 years. And so part of the biennial, on one hand, we renovated those artworks. On the other, we organized a small retrospective of a fantastic artist who actually have not had much chance to be exhibited. And now her tapestry, migration, that led the greed of the whole biennial, also found home at Hammam here in prison. Armando Garcia Dori and his organization Inland, they are currently talking and dealing with different agricultural farmer and shepherd groups, uh, looking at their production problems and trying to create solidarity models for them.
sandálové tě dostínu k poriadma. Una ka një raport si me burimet e ujtë që lidhet kërësisht me koret të cilat janë poezi të përkëthyre nga Eltaj Suroj, cilat janë dedikuar burimeve të ujtë të qytetit për zrenit. Vajza me kostum të shte Nëse gjokësin ti me të shure kujtje Thousand Years Plan is a new film of Agnieszka Polska that we present in the electro power plant station here in prison. It tells a story of electrification of Poland, but the metaphor of infiltration and infrastructure building as a gesture of idiosyncrasies, of modernism, of systems, of hopes, of infrastructure building are of course much wider. Greetings from an Elsewhere by Adona Kriju is a film composed from found footage from VHS tapes. Tapes the diaspora and people in Kosovo have been sending to each other before internet. As Joanna said, it started with my own private archive because growing up in the diaspora, these VHS tapes were kind of an you know, integral part of our daily lives, of documenting our lives. Then we would send them to our families in the 90s to show our new circumstances of living, but also to show uh, maybe new family members or just send greetings. It's a beautiful archive of seemingly not important facts and yet facts that show how life continues in time of war. And it has been gathered through open call and it's an open process to be continued. Rosella is very well known for her artistic work dealing with the ideological narratives and how they shape the memories and uh, how those memories can be refragmented and reconstructed back again. In the piece that we are showing, La Cinematografia, Elarma Piu Forte, is talking about, again, a very important ideological narrative and connecting it with the past. The Rotina film, which is about labor conditions and the workers that have been building the highways now in Kosovo. Kosovo is in the, in the process of modernization and there is big investment also, now calling investment from Turkey and other places. So on one hand we can enjoy a wonderful ride through Albanian Alps between Prizren and Tirana, but who actually has built those highways and under which conditions. This is what this film is about, is the testimony of workers that have been hurt 
extracted and actually not recompensated for their uh, work and like physical damage during building the construction of the highway. Here uh, we see a photography series inspired from the very famous Cairo Museum, a series, a constellation of various objects that can be or may not be archaeological remnants. A lot of her practice is questioning various models of representation and creating certain objects that actually disrupt the disputed histories. We see in this uh, video trial, let's say, that she uses a particular postcard landscape and a kind of a theatrical setting, which gives reference to the early silent cinema in Turkey, which comes from theater. So actually, the first silent film director in Turkey is coming from theater. And this is always interested in her work, like to use these tools of modernity, how that modernity has been formalized also culturally, and then shifting them in her work also for this for this alternative uh, chronography Habit is a bold feminist collective of two pairs of sisters that works mostly in the public spaces in reaction to patriarchal, machist society. In prison we presented a series of photographs called Ceylon Island from the experience of tea drinking and the rituals and traditions of tea drinking in the Albanian society. As Havid says, they have been socialized to serve tea, but if you go to a tea house as a woman, you are much less welcome than a man. So what they decided is to go four of them, make themselves comfortable and test out how much public space is still too male dominated and how can it we change and overcome. Ulf Aminde and Manuel Gogos, artists from Germany, looked at the streets and highways that Germans are so proud of and asked who have actually built them. Because many people that have uh, built German infrastructure are so-called guest workers coming from former Yugoslavia, also from Kosovo. So for them, the question is whether a street can carry traces of migration. Can a street become a monument of migration?
Barbara has been extensively dealing with recent ecological movements embedded in feminist uh, movements. This work is called Who is Afraid of Ideology? It extended over, uh, again, actually a four-year period of time with different meetings, interviews, uh, workshops uh, with different feminist groups uh, around the world. Mama is a female duo collective DJs from Jakarta, Indonesia, and they use DJing as a platform for making music archives. Here we are presenting the music from the other end of the road, which was the other end of the road of non-align movement. It's a collection of songs from the times of Bandung Conference 1955, leading to the creation of non-align movement. Because Kosovo and Yugoslavia were also part of this formation of the world that fighted the colonization. When we first met Soku Bekiri in Peya, he showed us the pictures of tapestries and interior designs from his father, Agush Bekiri. Absolutely stunning, modernist and yet traditional um, examples of work, yet almost none of it has been preserved. So our proposal was to make this kinship exhibition and to bring to, to the bar that now Soku, who refuses to be an artist, runs, to bring and recreate tapestries of his father as a gesture of connection, friendship, kinship, and art. This particular piece, Elite, is coming from a very high time uh, of uh, Hussein Bahri Aptekin's practice, who is a seminal conceptual artist and uh, a quite interesting uh, bon vivant uh, figure that inspired many people, that triggered many people, that sometimes also angered many people in, uh, various, uh, in various ways. And a lot of his pieces, of course, was about spaces of experience to be triggered in the space of the, the artwork. His posthumous retrospective was, I never wanted to be a museum artist. He was literally like the person who would make the contemporary art happen from the street and from his encounters and from his, from his experiences. We have planted them at the beginning of the biennial. They started to blossom at the beginning of the biennial. And the biennial finished with the harvest of them. So the cycle of the life of these happy plants called sunflowers was also measuring the time of the exhibition. Agnes Dennis sent us also a message. We can all be like sunflowers, gather the warmth, look to the sun, and give it back to other human beings. <laughs> 